Hello everybody and welcome back to RuneScape. Today we are going to be doing this daily challenge actually. It's a rare thing for us to do any daily challenges, much less one that isn't Dungeoneering. But that is what we are doing today because that seems very reasonable. Because we just got the level to chop new logs, we're at level 60. So we might as well use it, right? And look at that, we got some planks. Oh look, we got a Starborn Diamond and those... Stop being a thing you can earn in 10 hours, so that's a thing. I don't know, like, I, I can't remember, what did we get in terms of ore? 3,000. So that's probably where we're going to be at. If we get really lucky, we might get 1,000 more and be able to get a coif. But, you know, that's very luck-based. So let's go ahead and I, I kind of want to toss that in woodcutting since we're about to actually go do some woodcutting. And let's see, is there any items, like, do I really not have a rabbit? I should have a rabbit thing. Does it have a level that you need to wear it or something? Is that why I don't have it? I have no idea, but... Strong rabbit's foot. Jeez, it costs a lot more than I thought it would, considering how easy they are to make. Oh, well, okay. But they are actually cheap, so who cares? And we'll also go ahead, and I think the Ring of Wealth helps with this, which I, I guess I'm already wearing it. Yes, okay. And we don't have any bits of the Lumberjack outfit. I'm pretty sure I would know about that. Let's go ahead and activate our aura before I forget. Because we might get some just from cleaning these Renars here, and we did. Please be something good. Not... Okay, good. Um, ooh, but now I have to decide what skill do I want to be skilled in. Um, tough decision. Herb lore is seeming like the choice that I feel like doing, though. And therefore, it is the choice I did. Okay, deposit you, and I think that is it. I can't think of anything else off the top of my head that we need. For our you chopping experience, we're going to go ahead and chop over near the beehives. Because why not, you know? And hopefully it'll go well. I think I've decided possibly what quest we're doing this weekend, so I'll let you in on that. Possibly the, um, the I don't know the name of it, but it's the one, the musical one. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll just show you why I think we should do it. Desert. See, it is the only one that we need to do to do the easy tasks. One piercing note. It's kind of an annoying quest, I think. But maybe I'm remembering it wrong. Just a bit slow. And eh, whatever. But I think that's what we'll do. I've been putting it off, but considering it's the only thing we need to do for that, I feel like maybe we should just go ahead so we can get a desert amulet. Oh wow, nobody here. I remember when it used to be so crowded on every world. Of course, a lot of that was probably bots, you know, in high sight. Hind sight. Almost said that wrong. I don't know how I almost said it, but whatever. Look at me chopping the air next to this tree. Why don't I have a dragon hatchet? How much do they cost? Have I... Oh, is that level 61, isn't it? Wait, there's a task? I'm guessing you need to get five U-logs for that? I didn't know there was a task. Well, hooray! Well, it's an achievement, whatever. They call it a task there, but they call it an achievement here. It's very confusing. We don't need to worry ourselves with that. The main problem I have with this aura is that it means we never get to use any other aura because this is always the best choice, pretty much. Enlightenment, I maybe should have used occasionally, but I don't know. Free items versus better experience. Who cares? Oh, it's a hard task in the Sears Village set. Well, it's one less thing to worry about whenever we actually have done the wide variety of quests and level requirements necessary to do that. Because, yeah, there is not a single set that we can make any progress on right now without doing at least two quests outside of the desert one. I think for, um, dang it, I can't remember the name now. Mauritania. I don't know why I could, forgot that. I mean, the vampire quest just came out today, or yesterday, whatever. Um, but 
Yeah, um, for that one, we need two quests. It's a uh, cre creature of Fink and Strain and an aid of the Myrhue. Though there might be prerequisites involved there, I don't know. And I probably should do Creature of Fingen Strain soon, because I believe that's the one that gives you the Ring of Karos. Which is a useful item, and used in a couple quests, I believe. And would let us choose uh, what type of cat we want next time we get one, if that should ever happen. Speaking of which, where is my cat? Why don't I have it with me? I guess I banked it at some point. During that previous quest, most likely. Oh well. This is taking a while, actually. I was kind of expecting it to go faster than this, to be honest. It makes me glad that I put bonus experience in here, so we're at least getting a decent XP rate. But I guess, as is the case with most Tuesday episodes, I can discuss the update. I haven't done the new quest yet, but it looks pretty good. Like, the boss fight seems reasonable. They made it a safe area, so I don't have to worry about losing all my items, thanks to the new death mechanics that aren't really new anymore but it still feels new to me because I've only really died like once and that was in a quest I can't remember which quest I don't remember but oh it was the one with the 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 V one yeah the uh, welcoming home whatever home thing yes I don't know It'd be in the list, but point is, it still feels new. But the new update, the new quest, which I can't even name, it's the Lord of Vampirium, I believe, actually. I can name it. And it gives a decent amount of experience and a new weapon, the Sun Spear, which is a sword. And it's a pretty good item. It kind of devalues the time I spent cremating 500 veers, though. But that that was actually a very annoying thing to have to do as well. And I think it does count. Although, to be fair, having them pre-cremated does help with the quest line. So it wasn't a complete waste, but it definitely still does devalue it, if it does count. And I think it does. Because if you don't know, the Blisterwood weapons, which are basically the best choice for fighting Veers, or Vires, I probably pronounce it Vires just because I always guess the wrong pronunciation for RuneScape stuff. But regardless, it's, uh, yeah, the best choice for fighting them. And they actually added new dual building options for each combat thing. There's like scythes and a wand and whatever else which is pretty good stuff. And the weir the one weird thing about the the Sun Spear is that it's a it's a main slot item, it's not a two-handed, but it's actually weaker than the scythe, which is also a one-handed item. And sure it has a really nice bonus effect where it cremates the body and you don't have to go to the huge ridiculous task of doing that yourself taking keys to the columbarium or however it's pronounced but still it feels like it should just have the same stats because it's like this legendary vampire killing weapon but it's actually weaker it's just that it has a special effect after they're dead so it's kind of weird in my opinion I feel like it should just have the same stats and not be a decent amount weaker it's like I don't even know why they would do that but they did. They really did. Outside of that though, they added more titles. Who cares? There's way too many titles in this game now. And uh, yeah, I'm not actually looking at the list. So this is all from memory from when I read it. I used to really enjoy the Veer Lord Slayer tasks because they gave a ton of experience and they weren't that hard to kill. Like you would take damage, but there's uh, teleport right to them, and there's a prayer recharge right there, and all that. And after EOC, they definitely became less of a thing, just because their XP rate was so terrible. Because before then, it was I think it was great Slayer experience as well as combat experience, and all that, all that kind of went away. So I don't know if they fixed that since then. 
but I definitely quit bothering with them, quit being excited with them a long time ago. But if they are a uh, decent killing now, and the, the, dang it, um, the Sun Spear, the Sun Spear seems like a very good choice for killing them, even with its slightly reduced stats. At least you do still get the full stats on your offhand, which is good. I don't really want this. I mean, how much is Rot Tuna worth? 82 GP, I'm just going to drop it. Not really because I have to, but because I want to. Because I want to have room in my inventory, because we need room for 55. and Which is kind of a weird number, because 56 is two inventories. But that way, when we get an item next inventory, it'll be okay. Unless I burn these. I could burn these. I guess I'll burn them. That's okay, then. I'll pick up my tuna. Sorry, tuna. Um, I click on you. Yes, you are my tuna now. Oh, we earned a treasure hunter key, apparently. I don't know how or why. It just seems to happen occasionally. Arison's legs. Hey, look at that. That's something good that I didn't know I didn't have, but now I have. I should probably work on getting us the lumberjack outfit. I mean, overall, a lot of these outfits aren't worth the time it takes to earn them. Um, it definitely wasn't when it first came out. They've improved it both in odds and in effect since then. But still, I just like having it. So maybe we'll work on that. I don't know. We could spend probably months of episodes trying to earn that thing and only get two or three of the parts. So I might have to figure something out there in terms of not recording the whole thing. Which has always been the issue with the series is trying to balance the recording with the progress in a way that is not boring and also really doesn't miss anything like any milestones because the main issue is when i'm playing and not recording i'm always worried that something's going to happen you know like maybe someone will walk up and hand me a million coins which has happened and um yeah things like that or I could die randomly, accidentally click on something and die, and you'd never see that. But, yeah. One option, I guess, would be to constantly record, but not actually release the video unless something happens. And maybe I could do that. That is a possible solution. Although I'd really be putting a lot of wear on my hard drive for very little benefit. Writing all those gigabytes. But it's something to consider. Okay, let's do a little bonfire fire making. Oh. Duh. Whatever. I, I wish I had been smart enough to realize that I needed the level first. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, yeah. It's like, oh, I'm one level away. It's weird for my fire making to be lower than my wood cutting, actually. It's very strange. When did that happen? Why did that happen? How did that happen? Do I have maple logs in here or something? I do! Okay, well... Do we also, do we have, uh, is it fire gloves or flame gloves or... No. We have not done that yet. And I don't know if we can do that. I don't remember the level requirements for those items, but they're probably worth earning. I'm st Whoa, I just tossed a party hat in there. I'm still not used to bonfire fire making. It's not a thing that I have ever really gotten used to because I got 99 before it happened. And still, I personally, I prefer fire making in the... Dang it, I'm forgetting the names of everything today. The Jadinko Lair, that's it. The vines in there are some great woodcutting and fire making experience. You just can't really AFK at all when doing that. Or multitasking is, of course, still possible, but you have to keep the window open a good portion of the time. So it, it's it's a, a bit of work, but it does save you money. And it is great experience, so that's good. Though maybe not quite as great with the bonfires giving an XP bonus, I think. So who knows? Who cares? 
Oh good, the dog that is somewhere near my house has started barking. It's really annoying. It always does it, it seems, around this time in the morning. And it just... It stopped right away this time, but a lot of times it'll just keep barking. The same pitch, the same pause in between. Like, fraction of a second pause. It just bark, 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 bark for minutes and minutes. I assume it's whenever the owners leave to go to work and it gets lonely. And then uh, you might hear it other times throughout the day, I don't know. It's uh it's a bit annoying. I don't know if it ever picks up in my videos though cuz I do have an audio gate thing set up so that quiet noises do not get recorded. The only way you'd hear it is if I was making a noise or something made a noise loud enough to pick it up, but quiet enough to where you could still hear it. Which could happen. I don't know. Anyway, let's keep burning all these party hats until we get a level. It's not going to take long, because we do have all this bonus, bonus experience that's been piling up. And look at that. We have so much bonus experience. Like, what the heck? A lot of it's in agility... Uh, what other skills do I not train often? Ranged, apparently, geez. You can tell I don't train it because the bonus experience piles up. Yeah, construction for sure. Yep, that is that. Okay, so that's good. It feels kind of weird having this vampire quest come out today, going back to that topic. Just because it, it does feel like they've been doing a lot of major storyline quests lately. Which is weird, because for the longest time they didn't do that, and we get a whole lot of random quests or sequels to less important series, one-offs and things of that nature, or like starting a new quest series that'll eventually tie in to another one. And now we've gotten to the point where they are actually finishing things up, and I assume some of it's because they actually have like the graphical team and stuff to make new areas and things, possibly. I mean, hopefully we'll get um, the Fossil Island, or what, Kudos Island, as it is sometimes called. Oh, look at that, it burned out at the perfect time. Okay, so there we go, we can now burn yew logs, mahogany, pier pyre ships, whatever. Burn evil yew trees and thigh branches in Damonheim. Hooray! This is a bit of a waste of time, I will admit. But nevertheless, we are going to burn these logs. These poor you logs. All they wanted to do was be a tree, and I ruined that for them. And I am not sorry. Now let's burn them. When I first did the fire, I was like, whoa, is because it looked like I was tossing a sapphire into it. I wonder if it always starts with blue and goes through a certain order. I don't know. Kind of strange. I'm not sure what other updates are happening this month. I don't think there's much going on. I, it, it almost feels like it's the end of the month, just because I can't think of anything else that's happening. But let me go back and see. Behind the scenes, September. They got that raffle thing, of course. Who cares? Oh, right, the waterfall fishing in the Elf City. Yeah, we're not going to be able to mess with that anytime soon. And oh, right, the double XP weekend on the 25th. That is right. Yeah, I definitely i am going to try to make better use of that weekend than I have in the past. I'm not quite sure how we will handle that. One option would be to just do really long episodes every day of that weekend. Like an hour episode each day. Another option is to do uh, boring, slow training. Like I could do a bit of agility. Like I do in old school where I get right up to the edge of the level and then I start recording. That is an option. Dang it, this coal. Ruining everything. I gotta go bank it, so I'll have the inventory room to do this in one inventory. But yeah, we definitely really need to, and right now I can't think of anything I would have going on on that weekend, aside from work, which has become a normal thing for now, for the past year, so I'm used to that now. That's why I'm getting back into the videos. But I, I can't think of anything that'll go wrong that would prevent me from at least doing a little bit extra gameplay. 
Uh, the smart thing, of course, would be to do skills that cost money, but I'm not sure. Oh gosh, that was weird. I'm not sure that I actually want to do that. I feel like divination would be a good skill to train for some reason. That or hunter. Because both feel like bad YouTube skills because they do require a small amount of concentration. They're not really AFKable skills. So, okay, that. Why are the graphics doing that? But it makes it harder to get into discussions with you guys. Like, it's a two way conversation, right? It's a discussion. But seriously, it. It is a lot easier for me to ramble on with woodcutting where I just need to click on this non-moving object every once in a while and then burn some logs. It's not like divination where I gotta watch out for the chronicles spawning and for the special one that goes every 20 minutes and they move around and then you gotta convert. And then hunter is just hunter. Like, I wonder, what level is falconry actually? I actually enjoyed falconry. Although it's definitely better now that it has Bone Crusher. I wish that had been around back in the day. Is it in other? Looking for an easier way to find it on here. I feel like it's in the 40s or 50s that you can start that. But I, I don't know what they qualify it as. So I guess we're just going to have to look through there. Okay, Falconry Dark Kebbets is 50. And isn't like 63 or something for the next one? Uh, no, it is not. But Dark is not the highest level one. There's one higher than that, the spottier one. The, yeah, Dashing Kevit, 69. Yeah, it's a bit higher than I thought, actually, but that's also not the first one there. So where is the first one? Can I already do it? Or did I miss it? Hunt with Falcon, was that 43? I can catch spotted Kebits. Uh, okay. I think maybe I've done that before, I can't remember. I always liked that as a training method though. Having to deal with the furs got a bit annoying, but it is a minor cost. Nowadays though, it's probably not the best. I don't know what is. Regardless, that is things to consider. Oh no, fletching is the skill I should do, because not only does it cost money, but it also sucks a lot, and there's no other real way to train it. Like a lot of the, what the heck is going on with the graphics? Hope you guys are seeing that, you should be. Weird. Like it's, it's happening at a specific time, so it's like there's some sort of animation going that causes it. I don't know. It could be related to the water somehow, or it could be like a seagull doing it. Who knows, could be that thing, or one of these NPCs, but yeah, I kind of forget what I was saying specifically. I know I was talking about fletching sucking. Oh right, the, yeah, a lot of these skills actually have ways to train, you know, like statues for construction, or the clan citadel for crafting and smithing, fire making, mining, blah blah blah. But fletching is fletching, like you don't even get much fletching experience from dungeoneering. You only really get it from that one room where you fletch some bows. And you don't get that room very often. So fletching, yeah, I think maybe that's the one to do. And yeah, I guess I really don't have to record myself fletching. I can just start up the episode and it'll be doing that little flashy thing that happens whenever you gain a level. And I can click on that, and that's good enough for me. The main problem with doing that is if I do get logged out, then we do lose everything I've unlocked. Which I know I don't really need to show, that's just always been a thing I've preferred showing. I like to show my, my new possibilities, even though I usually forget what they are, as seen with falconry. But who knows. Because sometimes you do get things in that list that you don't see in the skill guide, like quests you can now do, and things of that sort. So it is a thing that is worthy of being shown. I'm thinking now, don't the bonus experience weekends just give two times experience throughout the entire time, not like the olden days, back whenever it was like 
2.8 at the very start, and then by the time you reached like 10 hours or something, it was 1.1 or something of that effect. I never really did like that because you always had to like have all your items set up in your inventory, log out where you're going to train, log in and just train like crazy for the first hour or two until the modifier got down to like well, a below two or something and then you could calm down slightly. Yeah, that was stressful times. And the idea was that maybe people wouldn't play the whole time, but they still did because, you know, any bonus is still a bonus. Man, I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. This is taking a while. I sh probably shouldn't have bothered with the fire making. In retrospect, that was a bad decision. But what can you do? Not much, apparently, because I did it already. So we should we should do okay, I think. We're probably going to get another thing from our aura before the end of this. Come on, you can do it. You can chop uh, however many logs that is. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, nine logs in four minutes. You can do it. Probably not, but try. We'll have to keep going. I don't feel like cutting the video before I get there. I mean, we still cross your fingers that someday I'll be able to pause my videos without having to do editing, because that will revolutionize my runescaping in the series. But until then, we must deal with what we have. And what we have is a person who does not want to have to edit probably like a three gigabyte video or something just because of one or two minutes of chopping a tree. Yeah, that, that 50 FPS has not helped my file size. I think it's probably going to be normal now for these episodes to be 3 or 4 gigabytes. It's going to become an issue, I think, because RuneScape, while bad, is actually nowhere near as bad as a first-person game, such as Seven Days to Die, and I'm assuming any other game. I did tests with Sonic Adventure 2, like, a year ago, and that definitely filled up the file fast to gigabytes but yeah I'm going to have issues with my storage because we're going to be getting terabytes upon terabytes a year on my current recording and thus far I have not deleted a single video that's on my channel I think even the old ones from like 2006 I believe I still have those on my old computer and I should probably copy them over to my hard drive if I haven't already. When I say old computer, I have so many old computers, I'm not even sure which one it's on. But I'm pretty sure it's on one of them. Or possibly on my mom's laptop. But we did it! And we actually did it way faster than I expected. So let's go ahead and head on up to Berthope. It feels like he actually did rush that last bit. Because I feel like we were not gaining 9 in two minutes before whatever but yeah those video files could be anywhere but I think they do exist and I like to have them because there's a few reasons for one thing the version you see on YouTube is worse looking in 99% of the cases than what I upload probably a hundred percent honestly but that's one reason I don't know for sure whether or not YouTube deletes the file you upload and replaces it with their own or if they actually keep the file you upload no matter how huge it is. But that's one reason. Yes. What? Oh my gosh, this is one where you have to turn in the items? Crap! I would not have burned those if I'd known that. I really wish that whenever you were working on that, there was an option to just have the item vanish. And I just thought of that right now, but I think I'm going to suggest that because... It is too easy to forget, especially if you can't finish it all in one go. I wonder how many people realized what I was doing when I did it and got super annoyed. But, yeah. Dang it, that distracted me. Now I don't know what I was talking about with my videos and stuff. Oh, well, I, I know I was at some point listing the reasons why, and I only gave one reason. The other reason is that you know, there's no guarantee that my videos will be on YouTube forever. Uh, it could be a single video, it could be all my videos, but 
anything could happen. They could get hacked really badly and lose everything. They could decide to delete my channel and refuse to give anything back. For whatever reason, I've heard the horror stories before. I think it's 27 that we need, right? I'll offer a bit of money. So yeah, that's 5k we wasted. Good job, me. Good job. Okay, get in bank. Now let's quickly hop back. But yeah, so theoretically, those backups could become the only copy someday in the future. So I don't want to delete it, even if I am going to have episodes that might be over 10 gigabytes. And part of it may be that I'm recording too high quality, but I've mentioned many times before that I am kind of a perfectionist in terms of why record in a lower quality if I can record in a higher quality. So, I mean, I could record even higher, but that would just be ridiculous. I'm recording already good enough. Okay, we can now use the Dragon Hatchet, the Inferno Ads, and the Crimson Skill Chompa, which I've still never really messed with Skill Chompas. And just real quick, we're over time, but I think I have one. Yes, okay, so... Oh, uh, that, that works out too. Grimy Renar, that's okay, and we got a raffle ticket from turning that thing in, but look at that, look at that. That is so shiny. So very shiny. That is a fitting end to this episode, but an even more fitting end would be if we got... 1,000 of those things. We didn't. Okay, well, I guess that's that. What do we want? This is a lamp, actually, so we will toss it in her lore. Okay, so yeah, this has been Kebab799. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Like this if you liked it. Comment everything to say, and I'll see you in the next episode.